Welcome back everybody. Today we're going to be doing a ROM mono upgrade on a 9800 series controller. This is actually a 9800L controller, but this will work on any 9800 series controllers that are out there. And the reason I'm doing the ROM mon upgrade is because when I received this box, it had an old version of the ROM mon on there that had a bug. And this was a super annoying bug because it caused the fan inside the 9800L to just get pegged at 100% all the time. So you go to boot it, and typically Cisco products, when they boot, the fan does go to 100%, but it never quieted down. So it took Cisco, I don't know, a couple months to fix the ROM on for it. There's a new version of software out for it now. So if you have this issue where the fan is spinning at 100%, you're going to want to follow the procedure here and get that updated to fix it. So with that, let's go to my computer, and we'll go over a couple commands on how to get this done. So to do the actual upgrade, you're going to want to go to Cisco.com, the downloads page, and you're going to want to type in 9800 series controller, and then pick the controller that you're trying to do the upgrade for. I'm obviously doing it on my 9800L-C. I've got the copper ports on it. Once you click inside of there, you're going to go to the iOS XE Raman software. Click on that, and then right here, you can see the package file. Go ahead and download that. You can view the release notes right from here as well. There are instructions in there too on how to do the actual upgrade. And then once you download this, send it over to your TFTP server, and then we're going to issue a couple, couple commands here. So here are the commands we're going to put into CLI. I'm doing this a little bit different this time because when I had the controller on next to me, you couldn't even hear me talking because the thing was that loud because of the fan issue that I talked about before. So we're going to go over what these commands are, and then I recorded myself uh, doing the upgrade so you guys can watch that if you're interested in actually seeing me type in these commands for whatever reason. So a couple commands here. Number one, log into your controller. Um, it does need to be set up, does need to have an IP address and everything on it. If you don't and you're, this is brand new out of the box, you might want to watch my uh, getting started video or my setup video. I'll put a link to that in the description as well on how to do all that. But once you're in the controller, go into enable mode, and then you're going to do the first command here, which is basically copy your TFTP address, where the file is living, the package there, space, boot flash, colon. Then you're going to want to run the command upgrade ROM monitor file name, boot flash, chassis active, R0. Once that's in there, that might take a minute or so. Then what you're going to do is you're going to issue the reload command, this, going through the reload, I want to say maybe it took about 10 minutes to do. Um, you'll know that it worked if you've got that bug that I have where the fan is going crazy because halfway through the reload process, you'll actually hear the fan wind down a lot. So it was good to know that I actually was successful in it when I heard that fan go down. And then once it boots back up, if you want to just double check that you're actually running the 1612-3, uh, you can do that show ROM monitor chassis active R0. So... Really, that's it. You know, guys, you know, I hope you uh, enjoyed this video. If you guys have any questions, comment below. And I'm just going to leave you guys here today with me typing this in via CLI so you can see what it looks like. Thanks.